this is FIFA TV, right? Mr. Itori, do you know this one? Mm, isn't that normal? Oh, no. What's this? This is called a DT4. It is one of the genetically modified crops. Miss Zoe is visiting a BT corn farm, so let's move the camera to the scene. Miss Zoe! Good morning, Mr. Zoe and Miss Mihala. Today I'm here at the Weasley farm to visit the owner, Miss Ivan, about the BT corn. Hello, Miss Wong. Hello, hi, nice to meet you. This farm is amazing. Is this BT corn? Yes. Wow, that's cool. Can you explain what's special about it? A BT corn is a genetically modified crop. This contains the genes of a bacteria called BT. It is a bacteria that is toxic for the bugs that are trying to eat corn. Gene was taken from the bacteria by human and injected into the corn. The corn then has the gene of the bacteria, so when the bug eats the corn, the bug will die because of the bacteria gene. Farmers then can use less pesticides to kill the bugs eating corn. Wow, that's amazing! How did you make them? What is the process? The first step is to extract the DNA of Bt bacteria. We need to separate the gene of interest, which the certain part of gene we want. Next, test, test if the gene works in other organisms. Tear the gene apart by enzyme and it done within the test tube. Using tissue culture, propagate masses of undifferentiated plant cells. This is the cell in which the cell transgene will be added. The new gene is inserted into some of the cells using some kind of way. For example, gene gun, agrobacterium, microfibers, and electroportion. The main goal of each of this method is to transport the new gene and deliver them into the nucleus of a cell without killing it. The new DNA inserted into a chromosome, but sometimes not successfully inserted. The cells that accept the new gene are called transgenic. Many types of plant cells are totipotent. A single plant cell can develop into an entire plant. Therefore, each transgenic cell can then develop into an entire plant which has the transgene in every cell. The transgenic plants are grown in greenhouses and the seed they produce, when, when, which has inherited the transgene. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you, Miss Wang. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Zoe. Now we are going to explain some of the environmental social BT corn is an eco-friendly crop. There is no need to spray pesticides, so BT corn reduces impact on fertilizer. Also, BT protein will not kill beneficial insects. However, there are negative environmental impacts. Biodiversity is upset by variation in zip and snow. This causes maximum extinction of wild animals and modified species. For example, BT corn is directly harmful to caterpillars, so it impacts the survival rate of butterflies. There is also a negative social impact. Long term health risks of BT corn are not known yet. People might get sick if eating by long term. It also kills honeybees and ladybugs accidentally, which is bad for the diversity, even though it can kill caterpillars. People also said that humans shouldn't be like God, who changes DNA in organisms. Even though the technology was used, it was too expensive for third world countries to buy, so it won't be effective. In the future, 3D protein can be used for more distance. So farmers no longer need to use pesticides to keep up. The soil and water are not going to be polluted by the pesticide.
Bye. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs>